What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing another product from the Florida-based tech company Azul. This is going to be their latest model of mini PC, the Byte 3. So the Byte 3 is a fanless mini PC with Windows 10, an Intel N3450 quad-core processor capable of 1.1GHz and up to 2.2GHz. And it comes in models of 4GB or 8GB of RAM, both with 32GB of eMMC storage. And both of these models have expandable micro SD card slots so you can add up to 256GB of additional storage. And the model I have right here is the 4GB of RAM version, that one is $200. And then their 8GB of RAM version, that one is $338. And both of these are sold and fulfilled through Amazon, so I'll post those links right down below. And just to give you guys a brief little explanation for anybody who hasn't heard of a mini PC, basically this thing is a little box, kind of like a cable box, and it has an HDMI port on the back that you can use to plug into your TV, and this thing acts as like a little mini computer. It functions like pretty much exactly as your laptop or desktop would function. It has Windows, it has all of the features of Windows 10, and you can search the web, you can download stuff, you can make folders this turns your TV into a computer. And in here we have just our basic paperwork that comes with all these, the quick start guide and some other papers here. And this thing has a bunch of different ports on the back of it. Like I mentioned, it has that HDMI port. It also has five USB ports. Three of those are 3.0, one of them is a 2.0, and one of them is a type C. And that's something new with this device. The last version of their mini PC didn't have a type C, so that's pretty cool. This device also has an Ethernet port, a full-size SD card slot, and I can't remember if earlier I said it had micro SD, but I believe it has full-size SD, so you could use a little converter to make it go down to micro SD. But it has that, it also has a headphone jack, and it has dual-band Wi-Fi with a built-in antenna. And right on top here is a little warning sticker that's on pretty much all of their mini PCs. It basically just says the device will get warm from time to time if you use it for a while, but don't worry, it's not going to damage anything. Um, so this one's pretty pretty sleek looking. I'm always impressed with their mini PCs, and it always seems like they find a way to outdo themselves with making the device itself look modern and sleek and really cool looking, and this one is no exception. Uh, the design, the weight, the feel of it, everything seems to be, on my first impression, very high quality, um, as with all of their products that I've reviewed. And I know I kind of bombarded you guys with all of those ports, but there's just one more I forgot to mention now that I'm looking at the back of it, and that's a VGA. If you don't want to use HDMI, it has that as well. So that should be it for the ports. I don't think I need to talk about those anymore. Uh, on the side right here, it comes with the little power cable, and in here there's also a remote too. This device has an IR sensor on the front, and it comes with a little IR remote, and... To be honest, I wouldn't necessarily rely on the IR remote. I would have some type of USB keyboard and or USB mouse um, on standby. Because imagine this thing like a computer, like your laptop. Would you be able to navigate all the advanced features of your laptop with just a little remote that has arrows to go up and down and side to side and then enter? I mean, you can get an on-screen keyboard, but that's just, that's a hassle. That's a lot of typing and a lot of manual typing with those arrows. It is a nice feature that they include the little remote, but to be honest, I would not rely on it because it does take a while just to type in one web address. And then if you wanted to Google search something, that's going to take you even longer. And the little power uh, adapter here just comes in two little pieces that you got to attach. That's pretty simple and straightforward. The remote itself comes with a battery inside of it. Uh, it also comes with one of those clear little plastic tabs. You just remove that and then the remote is usable. And you can see there's not a whole lot of controls on this. There's that, that little ring where you can go up, down, left, right, and center for enter. A back button, a plus, a minus, a home button. But there's not a whole lot of controls here for navigating. Say you were playing a game, maybe Minecraft, or you were trying to search various YouTube videos. That type of stuff would take you a while using controls like this. So while it is a nice feature that they include, I would highly recommend that you guys use some type of mouse and keyboard. I personally am going to be using the Azul Link remote in this video, which is a built-in mouse keyboard remote. 
I'll talk about that and show you guys that a little, a little more when I get to it. This one has Intel graphics. The graphics on this one are Intel HD 500 graphics, and that's the GPU. And they advertise that it has 4K capabilities at 60 FPS. So I will try to run a 4K video um, a little bit later on in this video. The operating system is Windows 10 Pro 3 64-bit. And this device also supports 2.5 solid state drives. So with all that being said, I'm going to show you guys now the setup of this little mini PC. And the setup is extremely straightforward. You don't even really need to read the instructions in order to set this thing up because it's as simple as plugging in the HDMI or VGA to the back of the device. Plug that into the back of your TV or monitor. And then you saw in the back here I have a little wireless USB receiver which goes to this link remote which has a gyroscope keyboard and mouse and that will allow me to navigate a lot better than the IR remote. And then I just plug in my 12 volt power to the back of the mini PC. I put the antenna up for better wireless connection or I could plug in an ethernet cable if I wanted to go wired. And that's pretty much all there is for the physical setup of this device. Um, from there you just power it on and I'm gonna save you guys all the time of me going through the basic setup of me putting in my wireless information and going through all the necessary Windows updates which took me about 30 to 45 minutes on this particular one. Oh, and if I didn't already mention it and you guys didn't know the power button is that one button on the front of the device I'm sure that's pretty self-explanatory but I don't think I talked about that yet that allows you to turn the device on and off it will be red in the off position and blue on the on position. So you can see here, this is set up just like your laptop or desktop would be. It turns your television into a computer. I have all the functions of Windows 10 on here. Um, I can go into Internet Explorer here, and the first thing I'm gonna do, which is the first thing I do on like any computer I get, is to go and download Google Chrome and make that my default browser, just because I prefer that over um, Internet Explorer or whatever Microsoft is using as their default one nowadays. And I'm going to kind of skip around on what I'm showing you guys here because I've already used this device uh, pretty extensively so I'm going to talk about my review and my what I like about it and what I don't and I'm also going to show you guys some of the other features. Um, right here I have a 4K video that's up on my channel and I'm just going to play that to show you guys that it comes through pretty smooth. It doesn't, it's not choppy at all. This is 4K 30 FPS and the video that you guys are watching right now is probably only going to be 1080 so this isn't going to come through on your screens right now as 4k but I just wanted to show you guys how smooth it plays um, to show you guys that this device can play 4k video and I'm also going to show you guys some Minecraft here this comes preloaded with a free trial of Minecraft so you guys can test that out a bit and obviously with that you will need a mouse and a keyboard you're not really going to be able to play that with the IR remote I noticed maybe the slightest bit of choppiness every now and then with when playing this Minecraft on here, but it was still very smooth and very playable, so wasn't really a huge issue for me. Now this mini PC is capable of many things, but it's not going to be able to do your higher um, tasking things like video editing, that type of stuff would require some something more like a desktop or a laptop, something with better CPU, better graphics, and um, probably more RAM I would maybe the 8 gigabyte would be better for it I only have the 4 gigabyte here but all in all you're not going to be able to do something that tasking however this device is perfect for browsing the web going on various social media apps and I'm going to explain to you guys what I use this personally for I keep this plugged into the main TV I use in my house and I use this for watching all the things that I can't normally get on my TV um, my TV is not a smart TV, so I don't necessarily get YouTube on it. Uh, so I use this for watching YouTube videos. I also use it for watching a lot of movies that are like on pirated websites or watching TV shows that aren't on demand or aren't on Netflix. So I have to go onto various websites to find them. And I'm able to bring them up onto my TV and watch them like I normally would view them instead of having to watch them on a laptop screen or a phone screen. So it works perfect for that and it fulfills that need perfectly. Um, I also use this, I got this idea a little while ago to digitalize all of my home movies and stuff from when I was younger. And I keep it on this in a folder. I keep it on this little mini PC in a folder. That way I can play them all on the TV 
and once again it just makes viewing them a lot easier and more convenient and viewing them on a full screen is just better in my opinion uh, so those are some of the uses that I personally get out of it I don't like go on it for video editing I don't really do a lot of gaming on it um, every now and then I might play one of the Windows installed games but those are my primary uses for it and it fulfills those needs perfectly and I'll also go on social media on it from time to time if I, I want to view something like a video that somebody uploaded and I want to watch it full screen like a Facebook video or a Facebook live thing and everything on this is completely customizable just like it would be on your computer you can change up the background the users and you can set passwords for the users this thing functions exactly as your computer would and it turns your TV into a computer with a surprising amount of power um, I'm gonna show you guys the specs right here kind of reiterates what I already mentioned to you guys and I'm gonna talk about how I feel about this now I like this mini PC a lot um, the only thing I could say is maybe the price tag could come down a little bit. I know they do coupon codes from time to time, um, but I feel like 199 for the 4 gigabyte of RAM model. I feel like maybe they could come down to 179, 169, but that's just my opinion. This device still functioned exactly as advertised. It has more ports than I'd ever need, and it turned my my TV into a smart TV with a lot more functionality. And I really am happy with the product itself, and it seems that whenever they come out with these new mini PCs, Azul um, in particular, they improve so much upon what they did in the past. And it just makes me wonder, eventually this thing's going to be so powerful, I'm not even going to need a computer, but who knows, maybe that day will be in the near future. So, I did like this one a lot, and I would recommend it. Maybe they could come down with the price a little bit, but that's my only, my only con. I never found that it got too warm like that little warning label said um, I never found it to have any flaws with its functioning um, it never like powered down on me unexpected it never froze on me so yeah I like this one a lot I'll put links down below on where you guys can get it for yourself definitely use a mouse and a keyboard or one of those link remotes trying to navigate all the features of a computer with that little IR remote just isn't really that fun so use a USB mouse or a USB keyboard or both so that's it for this video if you found it helpful at all hit that like button down below if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome tech reviews just like this one and as always guys thank you for watching from xm360